Hey, what's up everybody? So just wanted to give you all a quick update on the open source project that I'm working on and give you some insight to what that's gonna be, what it's gonna look like and do a quick reveal here. I'll show you the project and then I also wanna give you a quick update on what I have coming down, down the line here, I guess. So uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with what this is, I am working on an open source project that everybody can contribute to. So I put out a post on YouTube and I just wanted to see if the community would want to build something together. I've never done anything open source and I figured this would be a cool chance just to try to build something out and see what that's like and gain some experience. So I got a bunch of feedback people giving insight on what they would want to build, what tech stack we should use. So we'll go ahead and go through that. But before we get into this, I want to give you a quick update on a few videos that I have coming down here. So. Uh, the first thing is I do have a portfolio glass morphic web uh, website that I have that I'm building out and I wanted to get that out this week, but I got busy with a few things. I'm currently moving across the country, so it's a little bit hard to predict when I'm going to have that, but it is coming down the line here. Sorry about that delay. That happens quite a bit. So I have that one. And then I also put out a post on HTTP only cookies and how to store JSON web tokens and what the best what the best way of going about this is. So what I've been doing here is I've been doing a lot of research on my own. I have a really good idea of how to do this. I'm very comfortable with it and how to actually implement security measures. But what I decided on to make this better was to add in or bring on some people on live streams and interview them and learn from them live in front of you guys. So that way everyone can see that and then I'm going to create like my own thesis about this. So I'll put out a video, maybe a blog post on what my final thoughts are. And then I might do like an implementation video on that. So the guest that I'm going to have is going to be uh, Ben Awad, Hussein Nasser. And then I have one guest that uh, isn't so active on YouTube in his own channel, but he works at a big security company that uh, does a lot of this kind of stuff. So he's somebody that is way knowledgeable than anybody that I've ever known. So I'm excited to pick all their brains, try to get this information out and then eventually just make that public for, for everyone here. So that's the update on those two videos. Those are coming out. I didn't just switch projects here. I'm working on all of these together. So for that open source project, I want to actually reveal it. So uh, if you want to join that community, I actually have a link to that discord server down below in the description. So go ahead and join that. Uh, right now, I actually just started it right before this video. So I want to start interacting with you guys there instead of having to post updates like this. So that way, anybody that's not interested in it doesn't have to see all these videos and post updates. So let's go ahead and reveal the project. So the first thing is a lot of the input was for a Stack Overflow clone and some kind of social networking platform. So I kind of made a blend of all of those. And what I created was Mumble. So I bought the domain mumble.dev. It's a social networking platform for developers. And right now it's not live, so it will be live soon. This is my local version here. This is what I'm working on here. So what I decided here is I really like the Stack Overflow feature. And uh, the only thing with Stack Overflow is they really don't have a social feature to it. So if you look at Stack Overflow, you ask questions, but I've never actually created an account. I know that's probably not good. A lot of people do have accounts, but there really doesn't seem a way to really promote your profile. Again, I'm if so, if you know Stack Overflow very well and you're active, I'm sorry. Uh, that's just my understanding of it. So I wanted to create something like this for people to ask questions and eventually get involved and actually have that social platform to it. So if you look right here, this looks like a pretty standard social networking platform. We have standard posting here. It looks kind of like Twitter here, but the only difference is that we created a voting system instead of a liking system. Now. I decided to take away a lot of the things that I don't like about social networks and implemented a lot of the things that I do like about them. So the first thing is, is if you're making a post and your content is not good, I like being able to down rank it or down vote something and just kind of have it go out of the feed. If the content is it good for people to see, it might as well just get removed out of the feed. Now, something else that I really don't like about social networking platforms is the way that people can growth hack these things in a sense here. They can just create a standard set of posts. I've seen it on Twitter where people will just copy and paste, like legit copy and paste post, and they will grow their Twitter account to 50,000 followers. And there's really no value being provided outside of just sharing content. And I really don't like that. I'll, I'll leave that for Twitter. But what I'm going to do here is discourage that kind of content. Now, the people that I want to recommend, we have our top contributor section here. 
the people that I want to recommend are going to be contributors to the community. And what contributors are is these are people that write good posts, first of all, but that's not going to be the only thing because that can get growth hacked. What I'm going to do is add weight to upvotes that get added to a question. So if we can see right here, we have our discussions. This will be that stack overflow section right here. When you respond to a question in the community and your question gets upvoted, I am writing an algorithm here to calculate the amount of upvotes you get to the type of questions that you respond to and how your responses are weighted. So in a standard social networking platform, it's usually a popularity contest. In this case, what I want to do is give people that give good insight, that create good discussions. So if you're a creator of a discussion, which will have a start discussion button right here, if you create a good discussion, you will be a contributor to the community. So we're trying to promote and upvote really good content. So I know there's always going to be ways to hack it, but I'm trying to make sure that this is content that's developer related and it's not just a standard post. This is actually to a specific problem that you're answering. So that's kind of like the big twist between that and a standard social networking platform. And uh, if we look right here, we also have our topics that we follow. So if you're not subscribed to certain content, that content will not go in your feed. Now, if you're subscribed to something like Python right here and somebody makes a post that's Python related, and let's say they're not connected to you at all. None of your friends or people you follow like that post or commented on it. If that post starts giving, starts getting heavily weighted, it starts getting a lot of upvotes, it will eventually cross your feed right here. So that's how we're going to be promoting content filtering, making sure you're only seeing what you want to see. We're not bringing stuff outside of the dev community into a social networking platform. We're trying to keep it developer related, but not just developer related, but to actual tech issues and solving problems. So we also have this popular article section. So I'm also going to have an option where you can write an article. We'll see how this goes. But the idea is to add in like a medium like system or dev 2.0, whatever other platforms there are. But you will be able to write long form, short form articles here. And those articles will also get promoted to people following certain areas based on upvotes, the discussion taking place on those and I'm also going to build in good SEO into this to make sure that if you write an article, you ask a question that people that are just Googling up a question, you'll notice maybe you might Google this up here. So let's say we just copy and paste that. If somebody asked this question, we also want to make sure that your questions get ranked in Google search results or any other type of search engine. So that's the idea here. And yeah, that's basically the project. So I have the basic prototype complete. I have a lot of the functionality built out. And the way I go about this is I build out different sections. So this is like my cleaner version, but I also have a version that already has the up and down voting system that has the retweet or I guess sharing functionality, whatever we want to call that. I have a lot of this built in. So I'm expecting this to take maybe another month, two months. I'm really not sure because my schedule just gets, uh, it changes up a lot. So it's kind of hard to predict that, but once I build out the MVP, so minimal viable product, once we have the basic functionality, I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. And I'll probably create like a pre-registration option once I get the website on that domain. So if you want to register, you'll just get an email once the platform is ready. You can sign up and start using that. But once we do go live and after I consult some people, because I am going to try to find, I'm going to try to find some, uh, some maintainers. So people that want to contribute or do contribute a little bit more once I can build a community about that or once I can build a community around this, uh, that's when I'll release it when I feel like I have some support, but that's kind of the idea here. So for those of you that are a little bit newer and want to contribute here, there's a few things that I'm going to try to do here. So the first one is I want to build a Django basic level tutorial on how to build this. So it's not going to use react. It's obviously not going to have the same features because we're going to try to stay away from JavaScript here. So you won't be able to do things like upvote and see that update right away. That needs to be using or that needs to use JavaScript to do that. So we'll try to build in the platform and this way you'll understand the database design between creating a follow system, how to add in tags like this right here, how to upvote and downvote, how to comment, do things like this. So hopefully you can learn how to build a platform like this and then eventually you can contribute to the platform itself. Now I'm also going to try to build this same tutorial with Django and React. So the actual stack that we use. So this way, even if you are experienced, you can see how we built it. 
what all the functionality is and then you can contribute that way now one thing about those tutorials is they will not have all the functionality that this project has if i try to add everything that would be a 40 hour tutorial it would be ridiculous i don't have the time to put that together so we will put in the basic functionality again things like likes or votes follows uh comments post basic stuff like that and then we'll just go from there so those are coming down the pipeline those are a couple months out though along with this project but uh, since I made that post, I figured I would make an update. So I'm super excited to get working on this. I'm really excited to get feedback on this. Go ahead and join that Discord server. Start the conversation. I'll try to hop in when I can. It's hard for me to be active in doing what I do. But I look forward to seeing you guys there. Go ahead and join that.